Hello, and welcome back to SQL Explorer or SQL Explorer. One of the things that's really exciting about using SQL within FileMaker is that you can create relationships within your query without having to go to your graph. So it gives you a way to do reporting without having to necessarily add table occurrences just for relationships. You can build them right into your SQL query as long as the table occurrences are there. So we'd previously been looking at just doing queries on one table, but I have some related tables here projects and phases in our sample data. So let's look at creating relationships in SQL without having to create them in our graph. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and now I'm going to have these tables available to me um, when I create my queries. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this uh, criteria number one and I'm going to duplicate that and we'll call this one joinery. And if we go in here, we remember that we're just uh, um, selecting uh, fields from companies and doing some criteria on there and getting these results. So if we want to use some uh, related fields to companies, we're going to go back here to tables and we see that we've already got companies set up. And I'm going to go ahead and add a relationship to that using this add relationship button. And we see we get a, a dialogue like this. and uh, we can choose a right table here and we're going to choose projects and this is kind of like setting up a relationship in FileMaker so the way that this relationship is set up is I've got uh, my primary key for companies and my foreign key here for project company ID so that's basically the only match fields I need for this relationship so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and we see now that we've got companies and then we've also got projects related to companies We'll look at this inner join, uh, left join stuff uh, in another video. For now, we'll just stick with inner joins. And then I also want to relate uh, phases, and phases are related uh, to projects. So we'll basically have a kind of a chain if we looked at this in table occurrence terms, where we've got uh, companies related to projects and then projects related to phases. So I'm going to add a relationship to projects here, and we'll choose phases, and again, we'll use our project primary key and then our phase project foreign key here and we'll complete that relationship and now we've got these three tables set up and kind of describing their relationship information so now we're going to jump back well actually let's go back to fields and I'm going to get rid of URL and we see here that now we have additional tables available that we can add to our query so I'm going to choose projects project name and phases, phase name, and then we'll uh, search and continue, and uh, save and continue, excuse me. And now we see that we've got these additional lines added to our query, inner join projects on company. So here's kind of the match fields, and here's the tables. So here's the, how the SQL syntax uh, does those relationships. And let's go ahead and make this less than G. And there we go. And so here's our companies, and here's our projects, and here's our phases. And so we can pull fields from related information without having to go to our graph. And so this opens up a lot of powerful uh, reporting oppor um, opportunities for folks. You know, a lot of times we have power users who need to do a one off report, and rather than letting them loose on the graph, you know, they can build a one-off relationship, uh, excuse me, a one-off query here with relationships or whatever else they need to build their query and uh, be off and running. Um, so again, we're very excited about uh, being able to use joins in our SQL statements or relationships, um, as we would call them in FileMaker terms. So thanks very much for watching.